right? Uh, Mark and you both in the back there. We created an iPhone app today called Wattage. And I'll take you through what it does quite simply. Um, so getting here for the 24 hour event, forgive me, my PowerPoint's a little slow. Um, we had a few goals in mind. We wanted whatever we did create to create awareness and conservation. We wanted to promote better efficiency um, and increase savings for everyone. And I think that was the collective goal that everyone had here. Um, but what we wanted to do was focus on a really particular part of energy conservation that many people might not pay attention to and take that and use it, um, utilize it, make it engaging for the user to really improve upon the small things to make a larger benefit. And what we came up with was peak hours. Um, so you're not, if you may not know that on a daily basis, the energy you use differs and can vary from 35 to 50% based on what time of day, what time of night, how many people are using the energy in your neighborhood, whether it's a weekend or a weekday, um, in the summer or the winter, of course. And for May 2013, what we see right now is 6.7 cent cost in the offbeat, typically between 7 p.m. to 7 in the morning at night, never sleeping. There are mid-peaks around 6, 7, 5, 6 o'clock at dinner time, and then on-peak times, typically from 11 to 5, that usage almost goes up 50%. You might not know that. We created Wattage, which is a little iPhone app that recommends the best times to use your appliances and electronics based on local and real-time peak hour energy. So we created a nice, beautiful interface along with the iOS 7. Um, and really what it is is a clock, and it's something they use every day. But it's going to contribute to your energy saving, and here's how it does that. When you log in the app, you're going to get a different point time of the day. The app notifies you when you walk in the door of your house. If it's an off-peak time, it will be in the green. If it's an on-peak time, it will be in the red. Weekends are typically always off-peak, so you can, your rates are typically low. It will take the localized cost of what your energy usage at that time of day will be, and it will prompt it and show you how much time remaining at that level of cost for you. To put it in perspective, if you made one pot of coffee every morning from Monday to Friday, if you woke up a little early in your early bird, that pot of coffee at the end of the month will only cost you about 34 in energy. If you slept in a little bit later at around 11 a.m. and you made your coffee between those times, that cost would almost be increased by about 45 percent. And here's where we get into the grand scheme of adding appliances into the app. The app lets you track which high energy use appliances you'd like to put in the app and track. And we'll tell you when it's a good time to use them and when it's a good time to turn them off. So here's an on-peak time that's telling us it's a good time to use your desktop, your blender, your fan, your radio. I've added these into my profile. It's not a good time to use the washer. Washers typically use about 4,000 watts of energy and uh, typically huge cons cons consumers of your energy. It's not at all in the business model. You can target video delivery and advertising based on your monthly usage, your costs, and the appliances you've added. So we can recommend better appliances for you if you know that you're using these and you're tracking these ones. We can deliver targeted government incentives and benefits based on the ones you're using. And we can also offer premium working for 99 cents. You can turn off the lights from the app and stuff like that. So everything I showed you actually is working. And Peter's going to give a live demo of it. And hopefully we'll have it up in the app store in a few days. The app will send you a push notification when the time goes from a green, good period, use energy, to a yellow, to a red, and it'll give you, it'll send you a little push each time that happens. That way, you can prompt the app, check which appliances that you have loaded in, and turn off and turn on the ones as. So a really simple way to change a small habit that can end up really yielding a lot of savings at the end of the day. You can also check your week's usage, of course, and you can really take all your week button data and see how you're doing it during the week. Okay, time's up. Thanks.
so much, Cricket. about your premium version, what would you see being in that version? We didn't have an engineer here at the event, but we would love to uh, create some devices that you can actually toggle on and off with your device. So whether you're at home or not, you'll be prompted, hey, if you're in the rent zone, you can just flip off your lights on your phone, flip off some of your devices using Tile and other frameworks like that. Great idea. Uh, or, or actually code right into the machine, like rather than having humans you know, Raspberry Pi. Yeah, yeah. Need it um, Why iPhone? It's a um, relatively low portion of all the iPhone. Device. iPhone is what we're familiar with coding. That's what we do on a daily basis. This could easily be prompted, put over, ported to Android. It's the accessibility. Everyone has a phone, and this is something that's simple enough that you can pull out, check for a second of your day. Go, hey, I should turn off that blender that I kept on last night. Um, and those small changes. Uh, as, I, as I kind of illustrate, you can make almost a 45% difference in how much you're paying at the end of the month. And really just focusing on what time of day you're making your coffee or what time of day you're using your washing machine. I know that in the research I've done here today, I already know, hey, it's probably not a good time to you know, wash my clothes between 11 and 5. I'll do it at night uh, because it's costing me almost double. Any more questions, judges? Great, thanks Cricket, thanks very much.